Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to protect your cloud storage by using Cloudmersive Storage Protect to scan any files that are uploaded to an AWS S3 bucket for viruses, malware, and other threats. Our starting point is our Cloudmersive account page, and what we want to do is set up a connection to an AWS S3 bucket so your AWS account will automatically scan files uploaded into the bucket for viruses and take subsequent action on the files based on the result. To begin the setup, we will scroll down to choose Cloud Storage Protection and select Add Connection. This will create a connection between Cloudmersive Storage Protect and AWS S3. Here, we will add a name for the connection and select AWS S3 as the cloud storage type. From here, we will head over to our AWS S3 bucket and select My Security Credentials from the drop-down menu. We will select Users from the sidebar to add a user by choosing our username, selecting Programmatic Access, setting permissions to S3 Full Access, and hitting the Create User button. From here, we will go back to our Cloudmersive account and add the access key and secret key that were generated in relation to our AWS S3 user profile. Then we can add the S3 bucket region and name. Now we are ready to set our outcome actions. We have a few drop-down options for both clean and infected files, but for this example, I'm going to keep them at the current options of adding a tag if the file is clean and adding a tag if the file is infected. At this point, we're ready to click the Create Connection button, which creates a connection between Cloudmersive Storage Protect and AWS. All of the connection information is stored in a hardware security module for ultra-secure storage and protection. Once the connection has been created, we will click on Manage to add our API key. From here, we will configure the callback from AWS S3 back to Cloudmersive Storage Protect. So when we upload files in S3, it can send notification messages to Cloudmersive. To do this, we will follow the instructions shown here. First, we are going to head to the SNS Management Dashboard in AWS to set up a notification service. Then we will click on Create a Topic, choose the standard type, add a topic name, and hit Create. What this will do is create a new topic for events relating to our S3 bucket. After our topic is created, we will click on Edit. Now we need to grant S3 access to the SNS topic. This will ensure S3 has permission to contact the topic with events, which can then be sent to Cloudmersive. To do this, we will need the source account ID, which can be found under Access Policy in the JSON editor, as well as the SNS topic ARN, which is found here in the JSON editor. Then we'll add the bucket name and click Generate the JSON Snippet. Once we do this, it creates a new JSON snippet and we will need to copy the section and paste it in the AWS JSON editor. Unfortunately, this step is necessary as Amazon does not currently have an ideal way of specifying access policies, so we have to do it manually. After you paste it in, don't forget the comma at the end. Next, we will click on Save Changes, which means that the SNS access policy has been updated and S3 can now securely publish information into the topic. We will navigate back to the S3 dashboard, click on Properties, then Event Notifications, and choose Create Event Notification. Here, we will add a descriptive name for the event, and in the Events Type section, select all object create events. Now to choose a destination, we will scroll down to the destination section, choose SNS topic, and add the name of the SNS topic we created. Once this is complete, we will click Save Changes, and since we already granted permissions, this should go through smoothly. If permission was not set up in the previous step, we would receive an error here. Now for our next step, we will navigate to the SNS topic in AWS and add a subscription, which is going to tell Cloudmersive about the new files. Under Protocol, we will choose HTTPS as our subscription type, copy the unique callback URL from the Cloudmersive site, paste it under Endpoint, and hit Create Subscription. 
As we head back to our instructions, we can see that we've already added the API key, so we are officially done with the setup. With the configuration between CloudMersive, AWS, and SNS complete, we are ready to start testing some file uploads. We will head back over to AWS S3 where we have our bucket open to test things out. At this point, any files that are uploaded to the S3 bucket will automatically be scanned and tagged accordingly. Our bucket is currently empty, so we are going to upload a couple files to scan. To begin, I will upload this PDF by dragging and dropping it into the bucket and selecting the Upload button. Once it shows up on the dashboard, you can click the item and scroll down to Tags. Since we configured tagging for our files during setup, you can see this file showed up with the virus scan result of clean. To demonstrate what happens when we have an infected file, we have temporarily disabled our virus protection and are going to upload an ICAR file. An ICAR file is a malware test file from the International Research Group for Virus Research, and they are safe to use for testing virus protection. Once the file is uploaded, we can click the item, and this time when we scroll down to tags, we can see that it indicates that the file is infected. And that's it. In summary, we covered how to utilize CloudMersive Storage Protect to automatically scan any files uploaded to an AWS S3 bucket through the following steps. Creating a connection between CloudMersive Storage Protect and AWS S3, setting up action steps, configuring the API key, configuring the callback from AWS S3 back to CloudMersive Storage Protect, and uploading files and checking their clean or infected status. If you have any questions or would like to find out more, I've included a link in the description below where you can contact our knowledgeable sales team who will be happy to help. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back in for more tutorials and tips.